Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Story Time. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two, are you ready to stomp with me? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> great job, everyone. Hello, friends. It's so great to get to read and sing with you today. Today, we're gonna be reading some stories about turtles. Does anyone have a turtle for a pet? Hmm, we have one story that's a turtle that's a pet and one story about a wild turtles. But I wonder if anyone at home has an actual turtle in their house right now. Maybe you do. <laughs> well, it's time for turtle story time and we're gonna use turtles as our word of the day. So for bread and butter, we clap, clap our hands and we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say turtles as fast as we can. Turtles, 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 turtles. <laughs> it makes me really spitty. <laughs> Let's try it again, ready? Turtles, turtles, turtles. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Turtles, 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 turtles. How are you doing at home, any better? Let's try it one more time. Turtles, 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 turtles. <laughs> I like doing that one. <laughs> Let's try another, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say turtles as slowly as we can. Turtles. Oh, that's a good one. So we start out with a nice T noise. T -t -t turtles. Nice job, everyone. Let's do another. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say turtles as loud as we can. Turtles! Great job, one more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say turtles as quiet as we can. Turtles! Great job. All right, our first turtley story today is Truman. There's Truman. <laughs> Truman, written by Jean Ridley and illustrated by Lucy Ruth Cummins. Let's see what happens in Truman. Truman was small, the size of a donut, a small donut, and every bit as sweet. Oh. He lived with his Sarah high above honking taxis and growling trash trucks and shrieking cars and the number 11 bus which traveled south. Look, it looks like Truman lives in the city. Did you see all the things outside? A trash truck and a taxi and here's the bus and we have motorcycles and cars. Truman never honked or growled or shrieked at anything or anybody. He was pensive and peaceful, just like his Sarah. One day, Sarah ate a big banana with her breakfast, clipped a blue bow in her hair and buttoned up a brand new sweater. She strapped on a backpack so big, 32 small tortoises could ride inside, but zero tortoises did. Sarah placed seven green beans in Truman's dish, two more than usual. Let's count them together, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, one's in his mouth already. She kissed her finger and touched his shell and whispered, be brave. And then she left. Not to worry, she'd left before. 
and she always returned. But this time, hmm, that backpack was particularly big. And Sarah looked particularly pensive. And that banana and the bow. And let's not forget about those extra beans. Hmm, what do you think Sarah's up to? She has a new big backpack. I wonder where she's going. That's when Truman saw something he'd never seen before. Sarah boarding the number 11 bus going south. There she is. And the bus roared away. Truman waited for Sarah to return. He waited and waited. He waited a thousand hours. Well, tortoise hours, that is. Until he could wait no longer. He would go after Sarah. He would catch the number 11 south. Even amid the honking and growling and shrieking. Even if it seemed impossible. Bonk. Uh-oh. I think he forgot he's in glass. How's he going to get out? Hmm. That's when he noticed the rocks. Three rocks that had always been there. Ordinary rocks that now seemed extraordinary. Let's see. One, two, three. And now, boop, over the edge she goes. <laughs> and the arm of the couch. And the pillow propped just right. And that tall, tall boot. And the rug. Look, here he goes. He's traveling all the way out. That rug, the glorious, endless rug. Without Sarah, their home seemed vast and uncharted and unsettling. I bet everything seems so, so big to him because he's just a small turtle. It seemed truly unsettling. Oh no. Does he imagine everyone staring at him? And look, a sharp pin. It is very unsettling. But perhaps most unsettling was that Truman could no longer see the taxi or the trash truck or the cars or even the number 11 bus. Hmm. You see, now he's on the ground. He can't see out the window like he could from his little uh, crate. Which way was south anyway, thought Truman. Now the sun hung low like Truman's head and his heart. Just then he saw, oh, it's a flower. And then, vroom, screech, whoosh. Up floors and under doors, Truman heard it. A bus. It was time, time for him to catch the number 11 south amid the honking and the growling and the shrieking. Yet standing there in the ray of light, Truman felt peaceful and pensive and brave. Doesn't he look brave? He felt brave. But just as he was about to slip under the door through the opening barely the size of a small tortoise, here he goes. Oh, the door opened. Sarah! She spotted him, shining like the sun. Truman, she cried. She scooped him up and said things like, oh my goodness, and you, and how did you ever, and amazing. <laughs> Sarah kissed her finger and touched it to his shell and tucked him back safely in his tank, where he was peaceful and pensive and proud. And later, just before bedtime, she read him a story. Oh, look. It looks like Sarah wrote this story. It might even be this story. Our story is called Truman, too, isn't it? Now Truman knew that one day soon, he and Sarah might travel south. Oh, where is this? This is where Sarah went. Is that to school? 
They would travel to see new sights, hear new sounds, and think new thoughts. Oh look, she's brought him to show and tell. And they would do it together. The end. Great listening, everyone. I think we're ready to sing some turtle songs. Let's pretend we have a little turtle in our hand. Can you put your hands together to pretend it's a turtle? I have a little turtle. It lives in a box. It swims in a puddle and it climbs on rocks. It snapped at a mosquito and it snapped at a flea. It snapped at a minnow and it snapped at me. Oh no. It caught the mosquito and it caught the flea. It caught the minnow, but it didn't catch me. Let's try that again. Are you ready? Here, we're going to pretend we have a little turtle in our hands. Can you put a little turtle there? Here's our little turtle. I have a little turtle. It lives in a box. It swims in a puddle. Can you swim? It swims in a puddle and it climbs on rocks. That's right. Now we're going to make it snap. Ready? It snapped at a mosquito. It snapped at a flea. It snapped at a minnow and it snapped at me. It caught the mosquito and it caught the flea. It caught the minnow, but it didn't catch me. Good job. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. Get your turtle out. I have a little turtle. It lives in a box. Good job. It swims in a puddle and it climbs on rocks. Are you ready to snap? Here we go. It snapped at a mosquito. It snapped at a flea. It snapped at a minnow and it snapped at me. It caught the mosquito and it caught the flea. It caught the minnow, but it didn't catch me. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Nice job. Now we have a little song too. It goes like this. Turtle, turtle, move so slow. Can you pretend you're a little turtle swimming? Here we go. Turtle, turtle, move so slow. Crawling, crawling, watch it go. At the pond, he looks around. Can you look around? He looks around. See his head move up and down. Can you move toward your shell? Up and down. Good job. Turtle, turtle wants to swim. See him slide and glide right in. Good job, everyone. Let's try that one more time. Can you be a little swimming turtle? Here we go. Turtle, turtle, move so slow. Crawling, crawling, watch him go. At the pond, he looks around. See his head move up and down. So up and down, good job. <laughs> turtle, turtle wants to swim. See him glide and slide right in. Great job, everyone. And that's a good one to lead up to our sliding and gliding turtles. This is Turtle Splash. Turtle Splash is by Katherine Falwell. Turtle Splash. Ten timid turtles lounging in a line. Here they are. Startled by a bullfrog. And then there were nine. Should we count the nine together? Here, let's do it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine napping turtles. The day is growing late. A rabbit rustles in the leaves. Now there are eight. Let's count them together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lazy turtles resting without care. A red squirrel scampers by the log. Seven still are there. Let's give a count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Seven sleepy turtles hear the crunch of sticks. Deer appear beside the shore. And now there are six. Oh, they keep getting scared away, don't they? Let's give them a count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sunning turtles watching ducklings dive. The mother mallard quacks at them, quack. Then there are five. Let's give them a count, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five turtles left. Five idle turtles lolling by the shore. Pollywogs swim by their log. Now there are four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four drowsy turtles, quiet as can be. A butterfly flutters by, <laughs> leaving only three. Oh, even the butterfly scared them away. One, two, three. Three carefree turtles beneath the sky so blue. A chickadee chirps in a tree. Chickadee dee 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 dee. Then there are two. One, two. Two silent turtles watching setting sun. Mosquitoes buzz above their heads. Now there's only one. One lonely turtle in the fading light. Splash! Ten tired turtles settle for the night. Oh, look, it met back up with all its brothers and sisters. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sleep tight. The end. Great listening, everyone. I think we're ready to end our story time today with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready to stand up and find your head? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Great job, everyone. Do you think we can go a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you all for coming, and head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose, boop, Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>